Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Uh, I've got a bit of a uh, f uh, froggy throat today, so my uh, voice may sound a little bit crappy. Now, last episode, it didn't end too well, did it? Oh, Arthur over here, I think he fell in the river and he sort of inhaled too much water and he passed out. And he was hallucinating a giant version of his mother, it looked like a dead version of his dad. And then suddenly, Tom started bloody strangling him, I wonder what the flipping hell was going on. <laughs> Luckily, it was like some kind of dream. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> let's continue our journey on. Is that a tree house? I think we've got to go this way, ain't we? Oh, we've, got, we've got to go down here and have a little look at the tree house. Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh, what the f- Oh, shit! Oh, I, thought, I didn't even see. I thought he was just like setting up a rope or something. I didn't even see it around his neck. Oh, All right, quick! Come on, Arthur! Come on! Come on! Oh, fuck! Come on! God, why is he randomly trying to hang himself? What's wrong with you? Oh, come on, sir! You all right? Oh, can we uh, click on him with Arthur? What's he trying to kill himself for? It's a bit of a problem that these guys don't speak English and they speak some kind of gibberish because uh, you don't actually know what the hell's wrong. What are you trying to kill yourself for? Cool, I don't know if I actually feel too good about that because we've just sort of stopped somebody from killing themselves, but if your life is that bad and you want to die, I'm not sure I agree with saving them. I mean, it's their choice, ain't it? <laughs> but it's too late for talking about it now. We've gone and rescued him. I wonder if we're going to meet that giant again. You know, the husband and wife giants. Oh, we're going to have to, uh... Yeah, okay, Tom. I already know you ain't going to be out of fit. Right, you wait there a minute. Let's get Arthur through. God, this has got to be the longest journey for some medicine. I'm surprised their father is even still alive. Oh, oh, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have to jump on the windmills. <laughs> Flipping hell. Alright, we're going to have to get ready. Get ready. Oh! Oh, I saw... Oh, you see that? He sort of floated a little bit. So what are we... Oh, okay. Oh, wrong character. <laughs> wrong character, one minute. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to turn that crank over there. Oh, I don't know why I've just come round here. What an idiot. Right, come on in half. Let's uh, unlock this. I've not been getting many views on this playthrough, but I've got to say, it, is, it has actually been fun to play. Is there a, is that a lever there? One minute. Oh, okay. Oh, what the f... Oh, okay. Now we do that, and then we let go. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Ah, good job, Tom and Arthur. Good old brotherly teamwork. God, I wish my sister worked with me like this. If I was to uh, try and do something with my sister like this, she'd probably just try and get me killed on purpose, because she's a bit of a wolf hater, actually. <laughs> Considering she's supposed to be my sister. Flipping hell. Oh, this is going to be a nice view. This is going to be a beautiful view. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a sit down. Oh, look at that. Oh, I hope we're heading over there. Wouldn't mind exploring that building. You've got to love indie companies, though. They do create some brilliant games. I mean, lately, especially since PS4 come out, there has been so many indie games that I've played that I've actually loved. And with big AAA games, I've actually not liked barely any. I mean, the last big game I enjoyed, I think, might have been... I don't know. Uh, I don't even know which one I actually enjoyed. Maybe Dragon Age? Even that, I didn't really enjoy that much. But there's been so many indie games that I've loved. Valiant Heart, well, not Valiant Hearts. Um, Old World, New and Tasty. This. <sighs> Watch out for those angry birds. They will nick your chips.
Oh, yeah, we do get to go over there. <laughs> no idea how we're going to get there. Oh, okay. This is, uh... I'm not actually sure what we're, if we're, like, if we are actually trying to find some herbs or a special flower or something to heal our father, or if we're actually going to meet somebody who's going to, you know, like, a doctor or something. I'm not actually sure. Oh, do we have to go this way? No, okay. But because I haven't played this before, I'm not actually sure when it's going to end. So I might actually accidentally end the uh, video in a very stupid place. So I'm just warning you, the final episode could end up being like five minutes, depending where I where I uh, end the episode, you know, because I don't actually know when it's going to end or when I'm getting close to the end. <laughs> That's one of the problems that I have when I don't play games first. Oh, no. Oh, come on. We, <laughs> we can't start playing with a gut. Oh, what? <laughs> Holy shit. Flipping hell. You guys are so nasty to the bloody animals, ain't ya? Can we use these to, like, jump then? <laughs> bloody laughing. Oh, you guys. Oh, you're brilliant. Oh, we can. Nice. <laughs> oh, I want a goat now. Oh, careful. Steady. <laughs> oh, um, I can't. Oh, no. Arthur's having a bit of trouble. Where are you going that way for? Are you supposed to go that way? Oh, yeah. I flipping love those mountain goats. If any of you guys have ever seen them on TV or on YouTube, mountain goats are mental cases. They live right on the edge of a cliff and they just don't give any, they don't give a single shit. I mean, all they've got to do is fall asleep in the wrong place and that's it. They're going for a very bad uh, ride down the hill, down the mountain. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, at least you stroked it. I'll see yous. Who said we were finished with you? Maybe we was just giving you a little bit of a rest, you know? You didn't have to run off yet. Oh, that ended way too soon. I wanted to play with the goats. Oh, no. I hope this ain't going to be... <laughs> oh, we're going to... Oh, okay. Well, I worked that out quick enough, didn't I? All right. We're going to need to uh, fit this cog up there by the looks of it. Okay. It's a shame that Tom doesn't have a Mary Poppins pocket where he can just stick it in his pocket. Can you still jump with the cog? <laughs> Flip it out, Tom. I just love it. I just love the Arthur. Do you know, that could have done a lot of damage to him, you know? But sorry if my uh, commentary is a bit um, a bit terrible today, because uh, like I'm not not feeling too healthy at the moment, feeling a bit on the ill side. But as you guys know, I don't like to miss videos, so uh, I'm still making one. So if my voice sounds a bit weird or I'm like messing up what I'm saying, I do apologise. Okay, go on then. You could have probably climbed up there and done that yourself. It wasn't exactly that high up, was it? You could have reached up there pretty easy with a little bit of a jump. But I suppose he was waiting for two boys to do all the work for him because he's probably a bit lazy, like most of the characters in these games. Oh. Oh, what am I living here? Bit dangerous, mind you. Actually, uh, I remember that. Um, in Never Alone, if you uh, gather the cultural insights, then uh, it shows you an island made of snow near Alaska or Iceland or something, and the people live on the side of a cliff made of snow. They're flipping crazy. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, actually. I don't know why I came up here. I suppose I've got to talk to the other guy first. Maybe I need to switch him around.
I've got no idea what we're doing right now. I think I should go speak to him first because I might be uh, rushing ahead a little bit. Oh, <laughs> careful, careful, oh, careful. What we're going to need is we're going to either need a parachute or a hand glider. Or if, or if you've got one, a plane. But I'm not sure if two kids can ride a plane. Um, you didn't actually give me any information. You just sort of waved your arms a bit and then said, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is no time for Ching Chang Walla or rock, paper, scissors, whatever you want to call it. Um. <laughs> okay, um. Well, we're going to have to do something up here by the looks of it. What the fl. Oh, one minute. I, I think I see a telescope. Alright, so go down here a minute. Oh, look. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. So did I actually have to do anything up there? I might have done, but I don't know. Let's have a look through this. Oh. It sort of reminds me of a uh, building in Skyrim. It was like a, uh, a little... Um, a broken building that you can see in the early stages of Skyrim. It sort of reminds me of that. Okay, so can we leave right now? I think we might about to die. Oh, please don't die. <laughs> please. Oh no. Oh no, please. I don't want to steer. Oh, I don't... <laughs> oh, okay, so we changed the weight of the uh, brothers and we sort of uh, direct it. Alright, I, I get it. <laughs> this is dangerous. We're going to die. Are we heading toward... I think we might be going the wrong way. I get the sneaky suspicion we've just gone the complete wrong way. Alright, let's level it off a little bit. Oh, no. We're going to need to turn a bit. Steady. Looks like we're going through the cave. I don't know why you two are laughing. I mean, I'd be screaming right now. I'd be actually screaming. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, move over a bit, move over a bit. Oh, you two move too slow. Right, over a little bit. Hopefully we don't hit any of these spikes. Oh shit, we'll have a, a bit of a tight turn. Oh, come on, come on, move over. Okay, so we was just making, we was just doing a big circle. Oh, oh, you stupid birds. I told you birds are bad, didn't I? Didn't I warn you two? I warned you, but you did. I don't know where we're going. Oh no, we're dead. Which way are we going? I don't know where to head. Oh no, get away from that. No, we don't wanna don't wanna go there. Or do I? Um Are we gonna land here? Yeah, I think we're gonna land here. Okay. Oh! Oh I thought I screwed up then. Are you flipping birds? Oh look at this. Well, thank God for that convenient bit of rope, eh? Oh no, what's your plan? Before you, before you two start some crazy stuff, at least tell me about the plan. Oh no, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like the look of this. Yeah. Didn't um, EA buy the IP of this game for like five hundred thousand pound, wasn't it? Or well, they bought the studio, they bought Starbreeze Studio, didn't they? Something like that. Cool, I reckon they should have paid more than that. I mean, if they paid Notch, like Microsoft paid Notch two billion for Minecraft, I mean I'd expect I'd expect like more than five hundred thousand for my game. I would love to create a game. I'll tell you what, more if there ever comes a time where I uh I become like some champion of YouTube, oh I know what we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna build myself a brilliant game. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we're doing it right. Oh! 
These two are flipping geniuses. I would have never have thought to do this. I mean, I wouldn't expect my little brother to be able to handle the weight of me like this, that's for sure. <laughs> flipping hell, Tom. I mean, flipping hell, Arthur. You've got arms like Arnold Schwarzenegger by the looks of it. Okay, we're going to have to swing again, aren't we? I've got to make sure I let go of the correct... Um, the correct shoulder button, because if I release the wrong shoulder button, then we're about to go for a very, uh, terrible fall. <laughs> and we don't want that, do we? Oh! Um, where am I going to? Okay, come on, do it right. And where am I, where am I going to now? Okay, we're going to have to swing you around, anyway. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, flipping hell. I definitely like this game. It's just a sh- Oh, I told you I was going to let go with the wrong one. I didn't mean to do that. That was flipping lucky. It's a shame this game isn't actually longer, because I think, like I said, I think it's only about three-ish hours or something like that. Maybe even less. Okay, let's, uh, let's get you up here, so uh, he hasn't got to carry you around all day. Come on then, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good job they picked a nice, strong piece of rope. It'd be flipping hilarious if they picked up a weak bit of rope and then he dropped down to do a bit of swinging and then that was it. Snap. <laughs> oh. I always feel when I play these games on YouTube that I talk too much. I really do feel like... I, you have to let me know in the comments. If you feel that I talk too much, make sure you let me know. Because I, I never know. It's like I always consider... When I, when I re-watch my videos and that, when I'm like editing them, editing them and stuff, I always re-watch my videos. And I, I actually find myself really bloody annoying. But that could just be because it's me. <laughs> you know, if, we, if any of us made a video, we'd probably consider ourselves annoying. So you're going to have to let me know. I mean, it, you have to tell me honestly if you think I'm being annoying. I, I could take it. Don't worry. The wolf can take it. So make sure you let me know. Because I always feel like I'm talking too much. I mean, some of you might like it, some might hate it, so I guess it'll depend. <laughs> Flipping hell! These two are turning into Tarzan! Oh, oh! Oh, I thought I was going to full on us then. I hope there's no more giants around here because this looks this looks a little bit. I mean, who the hell would be opening this door? I mean, to me, I reckon a giant would live in this door. All right, let's get over here. What'd you would you say? Oh, <laughs> flipping more swinging. Okay, uh, hey. Oh, oh shit! Oh what? How could that kill you, Arthur? I'm pretty sure you fell from higher heights than that. Come on. Come on, boy. Okay, I'm going to probably get to the uh, top of this door, and then I'm going to have to uh, end it for today. Oh, I'm going to need to go over here. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I need to switch him around. It's going to get confusing. Okay, right. And you get up there. Okay, now we swing you. Okay, now I'm going to probably have to swing you. Okay, it's getting a little bit confusing now because right now I'm sort of... I'm getting a bit confused about the, by the buttons, you know. You sort of know what I'm saying because <laughs> it's like they're back to front. Because when you're pretty much playing it, you've got the, le the left uh, stick and the, the L1 and R1 button control the big brother. And you've got the right stick and the right buttons control um, the little brother. So you want to sort of keep them level with your control. And when you switch them around, it just it, it really, <laughs> really fucks with your fingers. 
I don't know if we had to go. No, we didn't. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to end it here anyway. So let's uh, get them somewhere safe so they don't accidentally fall. Thanks for watching, Wolf of Wolf. It's hopefully you're enjoying this game. I reckon it's been pretty good. Not going to lie, I've actually enjoyed doing this more than the older, really. <laughs> but thanks for watching, Wolf of Wolfettes. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!